Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I'm here to talk to you about Kiki Chanel, a video that was published by another YouTuber by the name of Ali Scott. And there were some troubling things that I found out about, so if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so the YouTuber Kylie, aka Kiki Chanel, I have shouted her out many times on my uh, anti-MLM videos. I feel like she is sort of the pack leader as far as anti-MLM content on YouTube. She has a very strong audience. Her videos get amazing engagement, really good views. She has a really solid stance on how she feels about, about how she feels about MLMs. And I all, almost always agree with what she has to say. Now, recently, she has been discussing how she's putting content on Twitch. She's over there live streaming. Honestly, Twitch confuses the hell out of me. I don't understand what goes on over there. I just know that people live stream on Twitch. So she has been advertising how she does more content on Twitch now. and. So if it wasn't for this video, this would not be on my radar, is what I'm trying to say, because I'm not on Twitch. I don't get it, it confuses me. But either way, this YouTuber, Ali Scott, she has 26,000 subscribers, and right now this video has 17,000 views, and it was published about five days ago. So we're gonna watch it together. I'm not gonna watch the entire thing, but I want you guys to see what Kylie said versus what this girl had to say because I believe that this touches on something that I've discussed on my channel and how a lot of times when you watch someone on YouTube, if this is someone that you wholeheartedly want to support and you know you want to feel good about subscribing to people, it might be worth looking on other platforms. Do your research. Is this person as genuine as they say? Is this really how they are on their other social media platforms? Check Instagram, check Twitter, all of these kinds of things because what I have noticed is a lot of times on YouTube when something like this happens, it all ties back to the YouTuber wanting to be advertiser friendly, wanting to have this really clean image, when on other platforms they are flying off the handle and doing really problematic stuff. So without me rambling for too long, let's watch this and see what she has to say. This is how you know people are so fucking, like they have the ego of the size of Mount Rushmore because they honestly think that their kid, because it's their kid, is gonna be like a movie star. So they name them something like so unique and crazy. So they're like a one of a kind, like, your kid's just gonna grow up to be a fuckboy, loser, like, idiot, you know, whatever. Okay, this is all I'm saying. Like, your kid's not gonna be anything, but just stop. I literally lose a year off my life whenever I see one of the, the fuckery that these people are up to. Oh my god. <sighs> You're a nobody, and your kids are just gonna be literally tormented. Hey guys. So before we get into Ali's part of this video, Kiki said a couple things that bothered me in that little clip that was shown. First of all, she talks about the ego the size of Mount Rushmore. And I, I can see where she's coming from with part of that, where a lot of times these egotistical people will name their children different names, not a Susan or a Kyle. They'll come out with something really different. If you look at a lot of the celebrities, their kids are named, you know, wind and fire and whatever else. And while I think that that can be up for discussion, she immediately goes into saying how the child's going to be a loser, an idiot, and pump the brakes before everyone, everyone has something to say here. I have used the word idiot on my platform talking about someone else. However, I have apologized for that and me and that creator are good to go now. It's water under the bridge. I addressed that in a video a few months ago. And going through that also made me realize that words have meaning. And when you are pinning someone as an idiot, that matters, you know? 
And not only does that matter, but on a more grand scale, I don't think that we should be calling kids names. I don't appreciate when people give commentary on children. You know, if you're talking about a young adolescent, like 17, 18 year old, that's one thing you still shouldn't be calling names in my opinion, but to name call such a young child is just really gross and immature in my opinion. I don't understand why this would even be of value. And the second part of it is a lot of times when I see this behavior online, I automatically look at the comments or the live chat replay to see what are people saying? Are they calling her out? Are they saying, hey, this is wrong. You shouldn't be talking about kids. Leave the kids out of it. If you want to say that she's got an ego because her naming her child is a weird name, fine. What are the people in the live or in the comments saying? With this, there are tons of people egging on Kylie, Kiki, and approving of her commentary against this child. And that to me is alarming. So I will continue to play the video. Let's hear what Ali has to say. And then I will insert my commentary throughout. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be Oh, and before we get too far into this, keep in mind during this entire video that Allie is a huge fan of Kiki Chanel's channel and her content. She has, you know, shouted out this YouTuber. This is someone she really looks up to. So this is not just some random YouTuber that said this about her kid online. This is someone that she really, really did look up to very different than what I normally do on my channel, but something happened yesterday and I just feel kind of compelled to come on here and talk about it and I don't know, kind of uh, work through some feelings on here with you guys. Obviously, you know that what this video is about if you clicked on it, but I guess I just want to say that like if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am like a huge fan of Kiki Chanel or Kylie Dennison, however you know her by. She makes a lot of anti MLM videos and stuff like that. I have talked about her on my channel numerous times. <laughs> If you guys watch my vlogmas, I talked about her during vlogmas because like she was the whole reason I did vlogmas was because I love hers and you guys see that I like mention her on Instagram all the time and always like say like, oh look, she just posted a new video, like go watch it. So yeah, anyway, like I've been like a big fan of her channel for a very long time and if you guys watch my channel, you would know that. So yesterday, actually two people reached out to me on Instagram. Um, one of them who is one of my followers that we like talk back and forth a bunch on Instagram She sent me a picture and a message. She said Ali. I'm dying. Do you watch Kylie's live streams on Twitch? I found her YouTube through you and since she's been streaming on Twitch I'll watch here and there. She was watching one of your videos on stream You need to see it But she attached a photo of me on her stream and I was so shocked by that I responded back and I said OMG I do sort of wish that this person that reached out to Ali would have said maybe prefaced it with something along the lines of you might not be too happy about it because if I'm reading this message, I would be excited as Ali was. Oh, wow. How do I find it? I want to look at it right now. So it was sort of going into this moment blinded, not knowing that she was going to be immensely devastated by the time that she actually watched this clip. But I mean, that's not the fault of the person. I'm just saying, if it was me sending this to her, that's what I would have done, just to sort of give someone, hey, a heads up, this isn't gonna be like a really cool reaction. This is actually, she's kind of, you know, crapping all over you. What? I love her, LOL. How do I find it? I was like so shocked and confused and like excited that she was watching one of my videos on her stream. She sent me that. Okay, so let's go forward a little bit. So after she talks a little bit about baby names and stuff like that, it's pretty generic chatter. Then she decides to DM Kiki on Instagram and she said, I've been watching your channel for years, literally obsessed. It honestly broke my heart watching this. Like watching someone who I've looked up to for so long, ripping my video to shreds, oof. 
big bummer for me today. Maybe keep in mind next time you are making fun of someone on live that they might be a viewer. And I think that that really speaks volumes. And I don't think that this conversation would be so important if it wasn't for her sort of targeting her anger at a child and making fun of a child. It's, you know, it's one thing, like, we're all adults. Like, I've been made fun of. I've definitely not been perfect towards everyone that I have discussed on my channel. I do try to keep that reeled in and address it when I need to because I just don't believe in the constantly name-calling, constantly making fun of someone for the way that they look. Like, there are just certain things, I say it all the time, they're off limits, they're off the table. And I would group talking about someone's kid right in there with all of it. You guys know I discuss a lot of family vloggers on my channel. And anytime I discuss the family vloggers, I discuss the actions of the parents. I discuss, you know, this is what the mom did. This is what the dad said. Could you imagine if I came up on my channel and <clears throat> was talking about... Everly LeBrand, and I said, oh, her hair looks really stupid. That outfit's really ugly. The little girl can't even dance. Like, these kinds of things, I would get absolutely annihilated. So, I don't understand why Kiki is getting a pass on this when she was saying that this kid, because of his name, he's going to be an idiot when he grows up. I just... To me, I can't reconcile it. Maybe you guys can help me understand this a little bit more, see it from a different viewpoint, but I just believe that kids are off limits. Don't discuss them. There are so many other things that you can say about someone picking a baby name that you might not like without doing it the way that she did it. I just don't like it, and it obviously really bothered Allie and rightfully so. And so I want to read some of the comments on this video. The first one said, um, absolutely, absolutely outraged by her behavior. She is the exact reason why we live in such a terrible world. Literally an adult bullying a mother and child. I am so happy you made this video and brought this to light. Hopefully this goes around and she will feel ashamed in herself. You're an amazing mother and so on and so forth. And the worst part about this is that Kiki is deleting any comment mentioning this situation and she also chose to not respond to Allie. So from, from my seat, if you're sorry, then, you know, this has been over a week. She went pretty hard. You know, it's, it's not like it was just one word that slipped and people are making it something that it's not. She did go pretty hard in this uh, live stream, in my opinion. And I feel like there's been enough time that has passed where it could have been addressed if she really cared. The next person said, uh, Kiki's leading all the comments that Ali's supporters have made on her latest video and on her Instagram about this. That's such a bad way to handle this. I'm so disappointed in Kiki. What the hell? The mean girl leaped out. It's crazy how Kiki goes off about MLMs being the P word, but then she just tore apart a, mo a mom who is trying to help other moms with her videos. I can't believe this, especially talking about your kids, so disrespectful in my opinion. That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna have snarky comments about an adult, adults can defend themselves, not saying that it's always right, for sure. That's not the point here. But why are we picking on a kid? I just don't understand that. The things she said were so genuinely nasty. Whether it was you or someone else, why do I publicly shame a child's name? My heart, my mom heart is broken. It just seems to me very useless. It doesn't, you know, add anything to a conversation by doing this to a child. It's just off limits in my opinion. I cannot see past that and I won't see past it because... In this scenario, I do believe that it's wrong, and I believe that 
the only way that this can be looked at is for what it is and it's the fact that she literally you know um, made fun of a child online it's just not cool and I don't think it's funny I don't think that it's commentary I don't know what that is but it's not cute hopefully she will in the next few days come out with an apology instead of deleting comments that are giving her any form of criticism or disagreement and maybe she will do a YouTube video and own it and you know say what she did wrong and let's move forward so we'll see I'll keep an eye on this but I did want to share it with you guys specifically because I have shouted out her channel so many times during my anti-MLM content, any of those videos. If you guys ask me who to follow for anti-MLM stuff, I always talk about Kylie's channel. And this was really disheartening. And it's even more disheartening to see how many people are approving of this behavior and egging her on. And that does make me wonder if it's giving her this idea that she doesn't need to apologize because she has all of her fans egging it on and approving of it. So time will tell, but either way, for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.